Welcome back to Red and Blue. I'm Robert Costa. More than 30 U.S. Senate seats are up in 2024 as Democrats look to defend their majority. The map could favor Republicans in the eyes of some strategists. And one of the closest states could be Arizona, where incumbent Senator Kirsten Sinema is expected to defend her seat after recently leaving the Democratic Party to become an independent. And this week, Congressman Ruben Gallego entered the race to run for Senate. Arizona Democratic Congressman Ruben Gallego joins us now. Congressman, thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. You are now running for U.S. Senate in Arizona for the Democratic nomination. Do you believe Senator Kirsten Sinema, who's now an independent, will actually run for this seat? You know, I don't know. Uh, we can't uh, anticipate that she is or she isn't, so we're going to run our race. We're going to continue to do the strong campaign that we've already started. We were able to raise more than a uh, million dollars uh, yesterday uh, from 27,000 individuals. We're about to do a great kickoff, hitting about five different stops over two days in Arizona. And we're going to continue moving uh, and getting that momentum to make sure we win uh, in 2024. I, I know you can't predict if she runs or not, but I'm trying to understand how you see this. Uh, do you believe ultimately she's trying to run here as a Republican, as an independent? H how do you see this playing out in Arizona? Look, Kirsten, num number one, only cares about Kirsten. So what she's going to do is is going to end up being decided by what's best for her. Uh, and so if she decides to run closer to a Republican, then she'll do that. Uh, she may try to run closer to the Democratic Party, but it doesn't seem like it's going to help. Overall, what we're seeing from polling and just from anecdotal uh, you know, instances is that she's lost everybody. Uh, it's impossible for her to win this race. And maybe at some point she finally realizes that and, and steps out of the race. But there is no way that Kirsten Cinema is going to win this race uh, at all. Arizona Democrats, are they lining up behind you or are they waiting to see what the senator does? No, we're very happy to have a lot of support of the Arizona Democratic Party, uh, a lot of the ground support, a lot of politicians, elected officials, labor leaders, tribal leaders. We're going to have a lot of great support. And even though I am going up against an incumbent, uh, a lot of them that they've known forever, they understand that this is a very important race uh, and it's time for us to you know, consolidate and make sure that we keep the seat. I read something very interesting a few days ago that Senator John Thune, who's close to Senator Kirsten Sinema, has said he has suggested to her that she begins to caucus with Republicans in the Senate. One, do you believe that could happen? And two, if she did do that, what would your response be? I don't think it, it would happen. Um, I think, you know, Senator Sinema still at least has some inklings of Democratic uh, leanings. You know, she is pro-choice, though she won't help codify Roe v. Wade. Uh, you know, she's pro-LGBT, uh, though she, uh, you know, watered down, uh, you know, the uh, uh, Respect of Marriage uh, Act. But um, I don't think she could go all the way. Should she go all the way, then we would basically continue running our race, and then we would absolutely destroy her in the general. You believe you would absolutely destroy her in the general election? Absolutely. If she decided to caucus with Republicans, it would it would be quite horrific for her in terms of the general election. She has about eight million on hand. Last I checked, you just said you raised a million dollars since you jumped into this race. How are you going to close the gap? Not easy with a lot of uh, business support for Senator Cinema. Well, we raised one million in, in one day. She raised eight million over six years. So. You know, the math is kind of on my side on that one. But number two, look, I'm a hard worker. I'm going to hit those phones. I'm going to go door to door. I'm going to do the fundraising that I have to do. This is going to be a very expensive race. We're going to have to raise close to probably $60 million, just like how Mark Kelly did. Uh, but guess what? She also has to raise that money. And it's not going to be as easy as she thinks because there is no small dollar funders for her. She's not going to be able to get the $5 or $6 uh, donations that are really important uh, because at some point you will eventually tap out of, out of very rich, rich donors. How much do you have on hand right now? I cannot tell you off the top of my head because it's increasing all the time, but we're probably uh, inching towards three million already. Three million. So you're about five million away from her. And so you're climbing fast if you just did a million in a day. What, yep. what, what about your race? Are you running as an outsider? It's, you just called the Senate an insider's club a few days ago. Are you running as an outsider campaign? Is, is that how you see this race? 
Look, I, I'm running as an Arizonan. I'm running as someone that cares about, um, you know, the people of Arizona and and the people that really have been left behind, the people that, uh, you know, feel like nobody's fighting for them. And I think at the end of the day, that could be considered an outsider, whatever it is. But I think that's the thing that uh, people will want to be attracted to. That's what people want to vote for. I don't think they want the chumminess that happens between, you know, the, the lobbyist class, the Wall Street class, and our senators. That's not, you know, what you're supposed to do uh, is in representative government. Uh, and at the end of the day, I think that is going to sell more with voters than anything else. One of the outsiders in Washington is Senator Bernie Sanders, and he's a favorite of progressives, many progressives like you in Arizona. He was asked the other day about your campaign, and he said, well, I haven't been asked for an endorsement yet from Congressman Gallego. So would you like to have Senator Bernie Sanders' endorsement in your Senate race? Uh, yes or no? Right now, we're focusing on Arizona endorsements, uh, and at some point, we will be going around getting every type of endorsement we can from every senator that we can. We're not going to be afraid of, of anybody, whether they are, uh, you know, party from the left or to the right, uh, as long as we they align with our values uh, and as long as they understand uh, what I believe. And uh, maybe we don't align 100 percent, but in the end, uh, as long as they understand I'm here for Arizona, uh, then, yes, we'll, we'll work with them. Democratic Arizona Congressman and Senate candidate Ruben Gallego, we appreciate your time.